No. We are going to be playing Tangled Tower. We're going to be wrapping it up. Because I have not, uh, 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 I've not finished it. And we have, I think it's about an hour, give or take. Uh, because, um, we're close to the end. We played it on Friday, uh, Thursday, sorry. And now we're going to be, uh, wrapping it up right now. Also, that entire time, I didn't realize I was in Tangled Tower category. <laughs> I thought I was in just chatting, but no. <clears throat> so if someone were to gift you Jump King... Come across that bridge if we ever do. Hopefully that bridge is on fire, though. All right, without further ado, chat, we're going to be jumping into, like I said, some Tangle Tower. If you don't know what this is, this is a mystery slash puzzle game with a unique art style on it. Shout out to Pimp. She gifted me this game. I've, I've actually really liked it. It's been really, really cool. Now, I might have to get a little refresher. So, Pimp, if you're in chat, if you could help me remember kind of what we did. I think I remember everything. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, there was this painter, this daughter, she's, uh, she was, as far as we know it right now, she was stabbed, and, uh, there was two, yo, Captain on Deck, chat, pay your respects. There's this, this mansion that has these two towers, and, uh, it's like one family and another family, um, so you have to, like, in investigate and interrogate all the, the family members and whatnot, and I think we only have, like, three more left? Yeah, it's been a very fun game. Um, I think I know who did it. I, I have a claim, but I don't know if it's right. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it, shall we? You're here, hell yeah. All right, we last left it. I think we have to investigate the mom. Yeah, <clears throat> so that's what this icon is up here. This means that there's uh, we can do a suspicion on her. We have done a suspicion on a bird lady, emo bitch, uh, a detective... Uh, right here is the one of the daughters. This is the dad. And this is the crime scene, which we're actually going to see <coughs> right now. Again, didn't mean to hit that. Are you going to say it out loud so I can make fun of you when the game finishes? Yes. My claim as of right now, with all the knowledge I have, I think the dad did it. I don't remember why, but I, I think the dad did it. Mr. Felix Baumgard here. I think he did it. But we're going to go ahead and investigate the mom now. The mom doesn't say shit, but I think she's going to say something now because we have uh, some some suspicion. So, this painting, specifically that knife in Flora's hand. Yeah, it's creepy, but we didn't find a knife anywhere in the room. So what's going on? Now, one thing that stuck out to me, and I didn't say this last time, was... I forget who said it, but they were like, oh, that's like a, a weird drawing of uh, Flora. It's like not like perfect. And the daughter, I think her name's Freya. She was like, she's a really good artist. So I was like, oh, so maybe she didn't draw it. And the dad took up painting. Another reason why I think it might have been the dad. But anyways, okay. It's not a knife. The knife is still in this room. The knife was taken by the murder. I don't think it's a knife. It's not a knife. Hmm. We need a clue to compare with the painting. First try, chat. I'm Something so to explain I'm so what that knife Gamma, whether Merc is right or wrong. Well, I don't know yet. There, there's still information, so who knows? Who knows? I think it's the mom because you don't trust people that take three hours to vomit. She does have a giraffe neck. A giraffe neck. Okay, what am I looking for? <clears throat> so this, this is just a recap for those of you who weren't here on um on Thursday. But all this shit is stuff you can find. Now there's two items you can see in the bottom right here. That I actually haven't discovered yet, but I think that comes with after uh, suspicion on either this character or maybe someone else. But yeah, we found all this shit, and what I'm looking for is something which explains the knife-like object in the painting portrait. I'm gonna go with the ornate trowel. That kind of makes sense, but no. Okay. All right. What is something that explains the knife? Well. What about the actual painting? That's not it. Okay. Something that explains the knife-like object in the painted portrait. Hmm. I really thought it was going to be the trowel. He said that and you clipped it? Oh, I, if you're talking about the gifter's word, I haven't started it yet. What is something... That explains the night. Matt, can I just spin it? Because, dude, I'm going to lose that so hard. Oh, my God. Who would you say you thought was a killer? As of right now, I think it's the dad. 
AKA the Felix guy right here. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. We'll get to that oh, in a minute. It. You're free to just go ahead and spin. I will I will try the challenge if you want, but I just know. Cause I was I was thinking in my head, okay, if I started right now, I, and I was saying something which explains that knife, and I was like, I would have lost right then and there. Like, and that's with me trying to actively think about it. So I know I'm gonna lose it. Something which explains the knife-like object in the painted portrait. Something that explains what the fuck could this be? Last time I lost in like 30 seconds. That's usually how it goes. That's not it. Diary. The diary. That's not God it. damn it. It's a paint! Idiot. That's not it. What? Oh, it's this. That's not it. Um. It's the photo, idiot! That's not it. The open letter. That's not it. Painted models. Did I not try this one? We'll get to that God in a minute. Damn it. It's um Oh no, I tried that one. Oh, it's the oh it's the paint. That's not it. Uh, um Um The K uh could it came in the case files, could it? That's not okay, it. Okay, I didn't think so. You can see it from here. Give me the first letter and what it sounds like. It's not the horn statue, is it? Starting off strong. Yeah. <laughs> um. Could it be the drawings? That's not Damn it. Damn it. Uh, this is so easy. Is it though? Is it though? Starts with a B. Okay, it's not brush palette. Cause we tried that. I doubt it's the bird book. It starts with a B. We got brush palette, bird book, bur bird book, and bird and cage. Let's take a what? closer look at this. Wait, <laughs> wait, what? How? It starts with a Q. You liar. Okay, so we're gonna look at. We have the head, the painted knife, the hair. Let's go with the knife. We have a plant, a chick, a bird, a wing, a feather. Oh, it's definitely a feather. Look at that. Yeah, that's the same thing, dude. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The painted knife was actually just a feather from a fairy tale, from an ink dip bird, from a swamp monster, from a golden insect. Say from the ink dip bird. The painted Bro! Is Bro! Just a feather. From an ink dip bird. Chat, first try. First try. Let me cook. Don't even need it's to cook. It's done. Right Holy shape. shit, I'm amazing but at this game. The book's not in color. The thing Flora's holding in the painting is red and white, specifically. Is there anything so to suggest good. that the ink dip so bird good. is red and white too? Absolutely. Absolutely there is. And that is, um. Um. Fuck. Um. The four feathers, dude. That kind of makes uh, sense. But no. B is for brain damage? Hey! You're not wrong. <clears throat> okay. Something would suggest the ink dip bird was red and white. <sighs> I mean, this one right here? That's red and white. Nailed it! Ch I'm, I'm thing, cooking with gas right now, dude. why Felix would make a model of this bird as part of a gift for Flora. And come to think of it, why would Flora be holding a feather in the painting anyway? Because she is a psycho. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what the options here. So blank was Penny's pet, so she kept. Was part of Fifi's experiments. Uh, was Flora's pet, so she kept. Attacked Flora, so she destroyed. Betrayed Flora, so she ate. It was Penny's pet. Was part of Fifi's experiments. As evidence of a crime, as a bargaining chip to be remembered it by, <clears throat> show her friends and destroy it later as evidence of a crime. Hmm. Hmm. The ink dip pet bird was part of Fifi's experiment. Experiments. Hmm. 
That doesn't make sense. The ingot bird betrayed Flora, so she ate several birds to remember it by? I feel like that's probably not right. Alright, let's see here. Um... By the way, the reason why I have my camera off is so you can see all the options, because when my camera's on, I cover some of it. Um... What if we do several birds were a part of Fifi's experiments, and the ink dip bird was to be destroyed later? Several birds was part of Fifi's experiments. The ink dip bird to destroy later. Well, that doesn't nope. make sense. Like, at all. God, I'm so good. Pet. So she kept a single feather Dude, to remember I'm, it by. I'm cracked. I'm she so good at this game. She kept the bird as a pet, and it died. Maybe. No. Maybe it flew away. It was. Flora spends all her time staring out the window. Got this clip? I got you. One second. By the way, she kept the feather. I think it was pretty important to her. All right. So she was holding the feather while Freya was painting her. Okay. But where is it now? You'd think she'd keep it somewhere close it by. Flew away in the wind. Yeah, I think she does. Normally, this is where Flora usually keeps her feather. Oh, we have another one. That's a first. Um, secret diary. Somewhere Flora usually keeps her feathers. Oh, 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 oh! Fucking no, idiot! It's in the no. Go, go away. How do I? How do I bring this down? Here we go. It's in the. Uh... Where's the egg? Oh, oh, here he is. That we opened it. It's empty. Mm-hmm. Completely empty. She knows that we're onto her. She knows we're onto her. She's gonna say something. Flora? Everybody shut up. She's pointing at something in the corner of the room. It's just a pile of books. They're not... Wait, there's something tucked inside this one. Drawings of Flora and a small bird. This is a handwritten message on the back. These are for you. Love, Freya. So we have a little chick. She's holding it, and then I guess she's in love with it? That was from the girl. Okay, so now I think we have... Yeah, we're just missing one now. Okay. Let me see if she'll talk. I like these drawings, Flora. Is there a reason why you wanted us to see them? Still not saying anything to us, huh? What if we ask the dad about that? These drawings are quite precious. I'm surprised Flora let you see them. What happened to the bird? Did it die? I don't know. Seems likely, though, doesn't it? Okay. What if we ask the uncle? Yes, very nice. Where is that bird of Flora's? It's been a while since I've seen it. I don't remember who we have uh, talked to. Oh, we've already talked to her. Freya drew these. Yeah, I think so. There's a note on the back. But she never showed them to me. Well, I well, think it was you. a gift for your mother. Like a private thing between Freya and Flora. Okay. I know I have to use this somewhere. I just don't know with who yet. Maybe him? Because we haven't, I don't think we've suspected him yet of anything. Yeah, his is still locked. Did Freya draw these? Yeah, 
There's a note in the back, too. She was even closer to Flora than I realized. Sorry, Maverick started choking because he ate too fast. And now he's over there eating like he didn't just fucking hack up his log. Yeah, good. I'm glad he did. Alright. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't hear what he said about this chat. Did Freya draw these? Yeah. There's a note in the back, too. She was even closer to Flora than I realized. Okay, so that gave us fuck all. So him and him we haven't done anything with. Let me see something. I think all of his were checked, right? Yeah, these are all checked. Go back over here real quick. I'm just gonna ask her about everything. Never mind, I already did. Who who didn't I ask? Was it the uncle? I'm gonna ask her about the birds, cause she's like a bird specialist. It's that bird. But these must have been drawn at least a year ago. Oh, how sad. Freya doesn't take very good care of her pains, does she? But then she was always rather bohemian. Had her own priorities. Hmm. Looks a little simple for Poppy, doesn't it? Thought she was a grade 12 or something. I didn't know there were that many grades. I'm sure they invented some new ones just for her. Wait, you jealous of your daughter? Have you tried those slow feeder puzzle bowls for Mav? No, it wasn't. It's not that he was eating fast. I think it was just that he got like a big mouthful. Because he doesn't, he doesn't normally eat fast. I think there's a lot that I yeah I haven't asked him like jack shit so let's just let's go through all of them. So which one is Tangle Tower? The left What's one. That? There are two towers, right? Flora's Tower and your Astronomy Tower. Neither? Truly, I have no idea. You'd have to ask Flora. She named the house. The whole thing is a result of her squabbling with her family. With Felix, you mean? Her husband? No, no, her brother and sister, and her father. The Remington family was a rather tumultuous little unit, you see. I don't think Flora has spoken with any of them in over a decade. She hasn't spoken to anybody in over a decade, dude. A very old statue indeed. I'd recommend you leave it well alone. I'm the not. poor fellow's in bad enough shape as it is. Isn't the process of decay fascinating? It's not really decaying. Let's say you Plastic. missed on clicking something in this room. It's becoming uh, you're one trying to remember with nature, if you all the same. First. Okay. Mm. I find that painting to be in rather bad taste. Oh, yeah? The knife with real blood on it? The whole thing is rather vulgar. Well, we know it's not a knife. Mm. Pointer property originally. I did click this thing in the middle the here, uh, pimp. Typical. I haven't seen that tape for a long time. But I'll Who see if there's maybe something it? else. No idea. Ah, well. Possessions are fleeting, my friends. Those are spirit fingers. Curious little thing, isn't it? Do you know what she keeps in there? <laughs> Nothing. At the moment. It was empty when we opened it. How bizarre. Can't a woman keep an empty egg in her room? for her magic bullet if you know you know here's a thought do you suppose the paintbrush could be the murder weapon i did After but all, no longer it was is that. found at the scene right next to freya's body i guess it's possible a diary can be a wonderful outlet for an outpouring of one's soul how do you know it's a diary i suppose i don't it's for her me time yeah dude. look like a diary <laughs> That's a very old book, isn't it? Looks like someone could have taken better care of it. I like the look of a well-read book. Better than one that's never been opened. Ah, I well disagree. put. 
This is supposed to be Felix, is it? <laughs> I think so. That's so I up, see man. he's afforded himself That's considerable so artistic license. <laughs> <laughs> Weird how this guy knows so much about Flora. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Did you do all the spins and that shit from the hype train? Uh, can I do the message of Mirko's? Yes. Well, yes. The only one I owe right now is um, meh. I have to do a gifter's word, uh, but I believe she said I can uh, respin it, and that's probably what I will do. Freya was I don't well think acquainted I'm pass with the thing. abstract. I'll say that much. What does it look like Mountain. to you? To me, it's a big red Volcano. thing. What a fascinating interpretation. He's right, though. It is a big red thing. These were drawn by Freya? She must have drawn that one of Hawkshaw rather recently. I guess. Why? Wait, wait, why Why recently? This looks a little rushed, even by Felix's standards. At least he tried. Yes, I suppose no, I have it's it on the clock. the old no, fellow I to have a hobby. Keeps his mind from decaying, you. It's up decaying, to you if you're up for the know. challenge. I'll give it a try. Poppy's two closest friends. Freya looks so innocent there. That's rather a small cage for three birds, isn't it? But then, aren't we all trapped in a cage? Wow, deep. What kind of flower is that? We're not sure. Only been I there think for it a might be the only one of its kind. Primrose would know. Okay. My wife was a floriculturalist. Best in the field. That's a flower joke, but she was. Interesting. Okay. So we can ask her about the flower. Curious creature, isn't it? Some sort of amphibious bipedal fish man. Playing a trumpet. Uh, playing Is it bipedal trumpet, or bi yes. bipedal? That was bipedal. Oh, you found a murder weapon? Steady on. It's just a gardening trowel. Looks like a weapon to me. Fitz seems rather keen to grow things like this in his greenhouse, doesn't he? What's wrong with that? Well, you can't eat it. Makes you wonder so you why yeah. he bothers at all. Why are you putting, like, the sus on other people? What's this? It looks like it might be a telescope. His wife isn't there. Well, or is his wife not the, uh, the bird lady? Well, it certainly is a telescope. It has a part there to screw onto a tripod, you see? It's rather small, though. I'm not sure. Hey, you it, see it gets many the job done. Okay, no, you don't need to. Probably not. No, hey, whoa, hey, stop. Shh, shh, it's perfectly fine. I've seen those earmuffs before. They're the ones Fitz always wears when he's out the front gardening. Always oh, that's his wears. niece, really? Oh, Whenever I've seen him, yes. I thought that was his wife. All right, we have three more to click. Where on earth did you find that? It was in the bush outside. <clears throat> I think someone threw it away. How peculiar. Hmm. Oh, my. This is the first piece that Primrose ever learnt on the piano. Uh, Primrose, that is, Poppy's mother. She passed it down oh. to Poppy when she started teaching her how to play. Poppy's piano teacher was her mother? Of course. Warms my heart to know that after everything, Poppy still has it up on her wall. Interesting. Is this important? Possibly. No. Bird lady is engaged to Fitz from. Oh, that's right. That's right. And there's a whole love triangle. So I click this. Pretty. Yeah, it's too cloudy to see any stars right now. It's also daytime. Trinkets. Uh, they're clearly gizmos. <laughs> the bell jar. It's empty. What do people normally keep in bell jars? Other than bells, you mean? A picture frame. With no picture. It's a chart of the solar system. Which planet are you from, Sally? Uranus. Aw, oh, missed opportunity, dude. Yeah, it's too cloudy. It's also daytime. Every astronomy tower needs a telescope. I want to try. Oh. Oh, shit. He would have been able to see everything. Okay, hold up. Here we go. Here we go. This is completely new. You can see you're right into Flora's room. Okay. Not by accident. Yup. We got a peeping Tom. I can see Flora, but she's not looking this way. She's looking up. Behind her is the backside of the easel holding Freya's unfinished painting. I can't really see anything behind it. Not from this angle. It's that little plant Flora keeps on the window ledge. 
don't you think it would fall off I in the wind? Maybe it's glued down. I can just about see the gramophone. I can see the doorway. It leads into the hall. The door itself is on the floor, knocked off its hinges. Is that a window? I think it is. Is there another room above Flora's room? We should check that next time we're over there. You can see right into... Not by accident. I can see behind her. I can't wait. I think I clicked on everything. It's too dark back there. I can't... It's too dark back there. I... Isn't this supposed to be an astronomy telescope? Okay, I think we figured something out. I'm pretty sure you need to see the sky for astronomy to work. Yeah, what up there, Sonics? Gifted sub? Yo, you're welcome, dude. I don't know who gifted out. There was a lot of subs that went out. Uh, the chat went kind of crazy with it, man. Yeah, well, welcome on in, dude. I can't move it. I think this is just how it's set up. There's something about Quinter's oh, astronomy habits. Something suspicious. Something. Suspicious. Little sussy baka. Let's ask him about it. Let's do this shit right now. Let's figure this out. Is it gonna... Oh, I gotta click on him, right. So, Professor... A peeping pointer? Yeah, dude. And then astronomy astronomy also, exactly. like, not his pants. It's not a matter of being interested. Once you expand your mind to the wider universe, it cannot be unexpanded. Mm-hmm. Got a weed smoker. And how long have you been an astronomer? I really don't like to give exact values unless I'm sure I can quantify them. Convenient. Why do you ask me these things? I have a theory about you, Professor. Oh? Go on. You discover a meteor is heading straight for Earth. You're not really interested in astronomy at all. You're trying to get a planet named after yourself. You're not really interested in astronomy at all. What could you possibly mean by that? I think you're interested in a slightly different field of research. But that's just a game theory. All right. What is Pointer actually researching? Um. Um. A microscope. That's not it. Music. That's not it. Music. That's not it. Oh, bird. No, wait, we're to use this. That's not it. Fuck. Um, uh, what is Pointer actually researching? That's not it. God damn it. Maybe what's in the empty egg? That's not God it. Damn it. Okay, um. Golden beetles. Nailed it. I don't have time Nailed for it. tiny, insignificant insects. My studies focus only on the inconceivable I did, large and the unimaginably far away. Right. That's why you like using your telescope so much. Yes, naturally. My little portal into another world. Yeah, about that. Why is that shit pointed into the, the other person's room, huh? The, teles the pointer's telescope was trying to hide, was on top of, was actually looking at the crime scene because pointer saw a bird, because somebody broke it, because it was daytime for self-reflection, self and not up at the sky. First try, baby. Pointer's telescope oh my was God, actually I'm so looking at the good. and not up at the sky. First you accuse me of being a lowly entomologist. Now you're accusing me of uh, what? Spying? Are you spying? Well, peeping Tom. So. Why would I need to spy on Flora? Why? Because you have a kink. Because you lost your golden beetle specimen, and it's made you paranoid. You think somebody stole it from you. Might not have been Flora you were spying on. Might have been Freya. It's... you... it's a very precious specimen. Incredibly rare. Valuable in ways you could never understand. Freya was always sneaking around, both towers and in the gardens, too. She was definitely up to something. So, 
Interesting. This next question is important. You were looking to Flora's room around the time of the murder. Did you witness the crime, Professor? No, I didn't. When I looked into the room, Flora was already lying on the floor. Flora? I don't know if we believe you that. You mean Freya? No, Flora. She was lying by the window. I couldn't see Freya at all. It was fairly dark. The telescope isn't at a very good angle. That's why I decided to head over there myself. I needed to know what was going on. This changes your statement, doesn't Wait it? Wait a minute. No, everything I told you in my statement was true. Apart from the reason you left your tower in the first place. Right. Let's go over what we know about the crime scene. All right. was definitely up to something. Something to do with the statue in the garden, I think. Maybe we should go back and check. And we could... Hey, what's this? <laughs> this wasn't here before. What is it? It's a little wooden toy. It looks kind of like a crab. Yo, Chad gave me crabs earlier today, man. There's a note stuck to the back. What does it say? Grimoire, you okay? Grimoire. This is my new friend. He likes music. Simple melodies will move his soul. Best of luck, you two, Freya. How does she know we're here? A wooden toy of some kind. A layer of dark ink lays beneath the sheet of glass. your latest YouTube video filmed uh, a year ago? What do you think? Is it really from her? How can it be? Why don't we check the handwriting with Freya's diary? Good idea. Hold on. Well? It's a perfect match. Well, it's confirmed. We have a ghost helping us. Hmm. Let's keep this to ourselves for now. What about the little wooden toy thingy? Maybe we can put it to some kind of use. All right, <clears throat> unfinished business. All right, chat, the tutorial's over. The game starts now. Do I have a spelling error in the description? Oh, that I didn't know. That I did not know. I'm still not sure about Should we take another look? Actually, hold on, let me look at, nope, not that. Let me look at. Okay, so I think I have to use this. I'm still Should we take another look? It doesn't seem like this puzzle can be solved yet. Oh, Let's okay. come back later. That's cool. So what the hell am I supposed to do with this thing? Okay. What if I take this? Oh, I'm gonna go over here first. We know a little more about the crime scene now. So, what do you think? Was Freya stabbed by her own painting? No. All right. <clears throat> Looking at the options we have. Uh, it was replaced by, was designed to match, was used to hide, was used to paint over, was used to paint the red tip of, was replaced by, was designed to match. I think the painted feather was designed to match a real knife to hide the evidence to prove the existence of the magic to resemble a bloody knife so it could stab Freya to distract Freya. The painted Fuck. ink dip feather was designed to match a real knife to resemble a bloody knife. Nope. I think it has to do with something this. Hmm. Chicken attack! Chicken attack! It's a good song. All right, blood from the paint pot. Paint from the paint pot. Hmm. Was he 
to hide, hide evidence. Let's use the paint over. Oh, paint over. Ah! Hey, what up, Ellie? Paint over. Paint over. The paint thing was used to paint over the ornate trowel to hide evidence. The painted Fuck. ink dip feather was used to paint over the ornate trowel to hide the evidence. That's not, not right. Not right at all. What if I do the painted floral was used to paint over blood from the paint pot. The painted flora was used to paint over blood from the paint pot to hide the evidence. That's not right either. Paint from the paint pot was used to paint, oh no. Blood from the paint pot was used to paint over this. The painted ink drip feather to resemble a bloody knife. Something has to do some with magic because of the diary entry. Blood from the paint pot was used to paint over the painted ink dip feather to resemble a bloody knife. Almost. Ooh. Maybe just change one thing. Okay, 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 okay. We need to change one thing, chat. How can a painting paint over something if it was already a painting? You just paint over it. Duh. Blood from the paint pot no. was used to paint over the painted ink dip feather to prove the existence of magic. That's not right either. Okay, so this was right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, paint from the paint pot was used to paint over. Was used to paint the red tip of. Blood from the paint pot uh, was used to paint the red tip of the painted ink dip feather to resemble a bloody knife. I think you're Penguin right. Penguin Isotator Tot yes, asked me. Can you explain the plot of Star Wars to Perfect me? Perfect timing. Except everyone has a bad case of diarrhea. A galaxy in disarray. <laughs> As disarray. tensions rise between the Rebel Alliance and the Galactic Empire, a gastrointestinal disturbance ripples through the stars. Every hero's journey now includes a quest for the nearest refresher. Jedi Knights clutch their stomachs in despair. No. Sith Lords capes flutter with urgency. And stormtroopers aim. Well, no change there. In this altered reality, may the Pepto be with you always. <laughs> Make sure you guys keep Pepto with you. I have a question. Why? Either it's a very strange coincidence, or somebody set it up. Somebody deliberately put blood in the paint pot and hid that feather after the crime. Why? To distract us? Possibly. Well, it worked. Possibly. Flora's the only person who could have hidden the feather. Unless someone took it from her. Let's go over what we do know. The door was locked the whole time. It stayed locked until Fitz kicked it down. Normally, it can only be opened from the inside. Pointer said he couldn't see Freya from his telescope. But he did see Flora lying by the window. So whatever got Freya got Flora too? Except Flora survived. She didn't get a stab wound like Freya did. Hold on. If there was no knife, then what did stab Freya? Uh, it could be anything. It might not even be important. How is it not important? Right now, I'm less interested in the what, and more interested in the how. The angle of Freya's wound suggests she was stabbed at a perfect right angle. That is, from directly in front of her. But she was standing right up by the canvas. Somehow, Freya ended up lying on her back, still perfectly in line with a painting. Maybe something went through it. Through the painting? Wouldn't that leave a hole? Okay, well, how about this? Okay. How do we know Freya was stabbed before she fell over? Maybe her being stabbed and her falling over are completely unrelated.
Huh. Well, now I'm confused. The attic. At least the moths are kept well fed. What's in that little box? What's in the I box? Bet it's box? Oh god. A skull at least. You know, maybe I won't open it. What is that? Not sure. Okay, we got Some a puzzle kind of chat. Real? Looks like it might attach to something. A fishing a brass reel with screws at the top. Coiled around the reel is a length of fine red rope. Okay, there was not a puzzle, I lied. It's a statue of a wolf. A wolf? Standing up straight. Like you know, there's a name for that. I know. It's not quite as dusty as everything else up here. Also, it's not a statue. It's stuffed. Oh, God. Just dusty junk. It's a jar. Huh. Uh, someone painted out the window. Do you think it was done recently? No idea. Either way, it's pretty suspicious. All right, let's click it. Where's that light coming from? Oh, it's just daylight, I think. There's a decent gap between those floorboards. Hello. Oh, Grandfather, like, what is that? it is I, your grandson. My father died on a journey of exile. Did I am he? here to continue his journey. Did he die? I'm here now. I wish to be welcomed. Oh my god, my son's son! No, Welcome have to you... still being a bitch. <laughs> wow! Well, go fuck yourself. You're getting the same treatment your dad did, you little asshole. <laughs> oh my God, Nova, has my prodigal son returned? Oh my! I was like, what is that noise? Uh, is that what I think it is? Depends. What do you think it is? Is that what I think it the is? The prodigal grandson? No, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's it's my son. Is that what I think it is? Father is dead now? Nah. I don't understand. What did he? I don't. I'm confused. Okay, so maybe we go back in here and then look up. The attic's directly above us, right? Yeah. Do you know what this is? Oh, shit. Guess not. All tabbed. All right, the real thingy. Okay, you don't know what that's about. What about buddy boy down here? You're not your grandfather? Nah, never admit to that. You don't get it? I don't get it. I don't know what that is. Me neither. Me three. Yo, me four. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said me too. Oh, I should probably give it to her. He might know what this is, though. Hey, what is it? We don't know. We were really hoping... You just got here and you, you already know what to do? My what friends, do you think you gotta do? Shed your hope and let it fall free like sandbags from a hot air balloon. That's the most depressing idiom I've ever heard. <laughs> Smart Fifi, what do we do with this? Is this yours, Fifi? I do not recognize it. And besides, the crack in the I would attic have no was use showing for such a thing. down from the outline Perhaps of the dead dude in front of the painting, so I assume laundry? you put it there. It you can't, like, drag video. stuff, though. I mean, yes. I'll, I'll try it, but. Where's that light coming from? Just There's daylight. a decent gap between those floorboards. Yeah, see, like, I can only click on it. I can't, like, drag it on there. Where's that light coming no, it's from? just daylight. There's a decent gap. And there's no options to click anything. It just says, is that what I think, I think it, is. it is? So. 
Fucking wrong. You're just saying that shows down the painting. Yeah, but you also said you knew what to do. And I said, I don't believe you. Lying liar lies. She's kind of smart. Maybe she'll know what this is. What is that? I'm not sure. Why don't you go back and double check the area you found it? Maybe you'll find the rest of the something else. Uh, oh, so sure oh, oh, I know what we're supposed to do. Hold on. I think I think I know what we're supposed to do. Didn't 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 Sally or whatever her name is say there was like something missing a screw or some shit? It's a jar. The head screws off. Oh. Uh, huh. What is that? Not sure. Looks it's like it might attach to something. What could that attach to? What? I'm trying to remember if I saw anything that that could attach to. Do you think this was always supposed to be a bedroom? I don't know. It no is. No windows either. Hmm. Hmm. A little sus that uh, there's no windows here, and the window that was up top was uh, blacked out. Huh. So I think you're just missing the fit suspicion. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Just his. I have all the options though. Or, um, items, I guess. I'm still not sure. Should we take another look? Ah, we still can't do this one Let's yet. Okay. Let's come back later. Alright, let's, uh, use a hint. Let me check in here real quick. Nothing looks like it can get screwed on. More egg statues. I don't get it. Why eggs? Talk to Penny. Well, okay. either they have a sculpture. An egg has got to be the easiest. Penny is emo bitch. That's all I got left. Okay. Guess we'll start from the top. Fuck it. It was my mother's originally. So. Oh, Penny's why is bird it bitch. Oh, she you're right. This is Poppy. Freya would borrow it. Well, let me just ask her about this. Where did you find this? What is this? It was this? in the attic. Oh. Huh. I forgot we even had an attic. How sweet. Okay. Good thing is I think I asked her about everything but the one thing, so this should go real quick. Hold up. Let him Let him cook. What up, Lappy? Sewing. It is. Maybe. We have no idea. Hello. Who penned this juicy little number? We don't know. It's not signed. An anonymous letter. Classic. Something clue. that Fitz would be involved in. Got it. Very nice. You've seen these before? Yes. All of them. Even this one of. Yes. Interesting. I bet you if I click off. Okay. Thought he was gonna say there's some suspicion about that, but whatever. I doubt Freya intended it, but the overall effect is a little unsettling. Don't you think? Think harder. I got it. Watch this pimp. Are you ready? Are you ready? You're about to be blown away. She's Check this out. She's an inescapably haunting presence, bless her. Boom. Ooh, delightful. More of a gemstone than a fruit, isn't it? Inedible too. I think. Yes. At one point, I thought Fitz might be growing. Wait, one to more? Really? That's them. not it? But honestly, Fuck. I think he just likes the way they look. <laughs> Your friend introduced you to Halo last night and you're addicted? I have an unpopular opinion. I don't like Halo. I think it's an overrated game. But that's just me. If you like it, hell yeah, dude. You rock out with it, dude. That was one. Need the other half? What do you mean? 
So there's like two things I need to talk to her about. Oh, is it this? Yes, it's my, uh, uh, my flower. You don't like it? I'm no good at caring for plants. I forget to water them. Birds are much easier. They're a lot more vocal. You're the boiler player that can pay. Do you at man. least like the look of the flower? Wait, so you're playing the latest? The uh, look? The, the colors, latest? Um, the shape of it? Game? Okay. Look. Between you and me, I think it's a little vulgar. Why? Why? Not a fan of insects myself. Bro, same. Whose research is this? We were Two hoping checks. you might know. No, can't say I. Hey, yeah, infinite. Perhaps. It's free if you give it a try. I'll was look at it, but I doubt it. Always very it. fond of grubby little things. I wasn't a fan like of uh, Halo uh, mm -hmm. One and Two. Noted. I beat all of Halo One, and I tried Halo Two, and they're just meh. Poppy's gramophone. She's had an anime joke. Time. Oh, I got As it. A young child, I was trying to not put any attention onto it. On account of it belonging to her mother. That's cute. Oh yes, adorable. I'm just clicking all these just to get them. Uh, Terrible. What you call it? You recognize it? Color scheme. Three different pinks. Great job. What? Three different pinks. I did do a great job. Thanks, ma'am. I don't know. You talked to Fitz about everything, is. right? And did you ask Fifi about Fitz? I don't know. I know a lot of people really I... like this painting, but it's a little much for me. I find it overbearing. And for some reason, it makes me feel bad for Freya. I Could think she was more her? troubled than we knew. Was she a werewolf? Is that why? She was locked in the attic with no sunlight? Let me ask uh, Fitz if I did, uh, if I asked about everything. God damn it, I keep alt tabbing. Uh, yeah, looks like I asked him about everything. Okay, so now you said go to F F Fifi. Ask Fifi about Fitz? Okay. Um, oh, oh, like this. Name, Fitzfellow. Age, 24. Profession, cryptobotanist. Likes soil, dislikes electric lights. Hang on. Cryptobotanist? No, like crypto coin. Just a gardener. That may well be his preferred label. Mine, however, is more accurate. Do you and Fitz not see eye to eye, Fifi? We do not. Well, I wouldn't have thought so. He's well over six foot and you've got to be just barely five. So, what's your problem with him? <laughs> what the fuck? Exactly Why? one week ago, <clears throat> I witnessed him sneaking up Pointer Tower. He was making every effort to avoid detection. So? He was also carrying a knife. Hmm, like a knife. There's something about the report of Fitz going up Pointer Tower. Damn, dude. That's I, I never would have something thought about going back and suspicious. asking her about all the people. Let's ask him about it. I just use so, Fitz. I have a report that you were seen sneaking up Pointer Tower, uh, holding a knife. That's not right. I don't go into Pointer Tower. He was holding I don't own a, a knife. Feather. And I don't sneak. Was it Fifi who told you this? How did you know that? A guess. She doesn't like me very much. But yeah, she was mistaken. Maybe she wasn't wearing her eye lens thing. What do you think, Grimoire? Fifi did see Fitz, but he was holding something else. Fifi definitely saw Fitz holding a knife. Fifi lied about seeing Fitz. Fifi did see Fitz, but he was holding something else. So, if it wasn't a knife, what was it? Uh, you were trying to be a subtle guide, uh, or subtly guide you, but I don't know how I was going to do No, I appreciate you letting me know, because I definitely wasn't going to get there. Something Fitz was carrying, which Fifi mistook for a knife. Four feathers. That's not it. Damn it, okay. Oh, the ornate trowel, duh. What about this? Ah, that. Is it yours? It was a gift. It's sentimental. I have no reason to take it up Pointer Tower. I don't use it at all. Okay, but... 
Alright, blank is part of a matching set. <clears throat> blank is the only thing that I can destroy. Used to bury. Is used by Fitz to look after. Is used to Fitz to cut. It's a uh, part of a matching set. Okay, the ornate uh trout is a match is part of a matching set with Poppy. In the greenhouse in the garden in Penny's room and Fitz's room in Poppy's room. In the garden. An ornate trowel is part of a matching set with Poppy in the garden. Nope. An ornate trowel nope. is part of a matching set. I'm really with trying to push Poppy in the greenhouse. <laughs> this whole, That's not right. This whole Fitz and Poppy uh, love thing. Okay. Uh, it's used to look after. It's used to cut. It's part of a match set. It's used to destroy. It's used to bury. A single feather in the greenhouse. An ornate trowel was used to bury a single feather in the greenhouse. That's not right either. Okay, hold on. Um, an ornate trowel is part of a matching set with Penny in Fitz's room. That's not right either. Damn it, okay. An ornate trowel is part of a matching set with Penny in the greenhouse. That's not right either. Damn, okay. I know it gives me hints at the top, but I don't want to... Oh, you mean up here? Oh, shit. I completely forgot about it. Does Fitz need to look after a plant somewhere in the pointer tower? Yeah, it's the potted flower. A potted flower is the only thing that <laughs> can destroy Penny. Penny is the only thing <laughs> a pot can destroy a potted flower in Penny's room. Penny is the only thing that can destroy a potted flower. In Penny's room. That's not right either. Okay, hold on. They don't have so much. Did Fitz need to look after a plant somewhere in Pointer Tower? All right, Fitz is used as part of. Is, it can only thing it can destroy was used to bury. All right, that looks good. An ornate trowel was used to bury a potted flower in Penny's room. Almost. Ooh, okay. Maybe just change one thing. Okay, 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 hold on. Um, let's try maybe... I don't remember where I got this, in the garden or the greenhouse? Let's try garden. An ornate trowel was used to bury a potted flower in the garden. That's not right either. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. An ornate trowel was used to bury okay. a potted flower in the greenhouse. That's not okay, right Okay, okay, so we know it's in Penny's room. <clears throat> a ornate trowel is used to by Fitz to look after a potted plant. That's right. An ornate trowel is used Nailed by it. Fitz to look after a potted flower in Penny's room. Is a human a thing? A yes. flower. Yes. I've never seen it before. Liar. We need a clue to Liar. A flower. Hundredth times of charm. Hell yeah, but we got there, baby. Woohoo! Alright, <clears throat> what am I looking for here? Something to compare directly with the potted flower from Penny's room. Something to compare directly with the pot. All right, the potted fruit. Let's take a closer look at these. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. The pink part of the flower, the stem of the flower, the pot and soil, the heart on the pot. Okay. The leaves. The gem-like fruit, the smaller fruit, pot and soil. All right, we'll do that. Sure. In Flora's room matches. Found in the diff found in the garden is different from. That sounds right. In Freya room matches. In Penny's room matches was placed by or replaced by. The heart on the pot found in the garden is different from the pot and soil. In found in Fitz's greenhouse. The heart on the Damn pot I thought I was found in the, the garden ding. is different from the pot and soil found in Fitz's greenhouse. No. I brought for I brought for lunch found in the garden. The heart on the pot found in the garden is different from the pot and soil found in the garden. That's Okay, right. what if I do the pot and soil found in the garden is different from the pot and soil found in the, in 
the in in is this greenhouse? Hidden on the floorboards, found a Freya's room. The pot and soil found in the garden is different from the pot and soil found in Fitz's greenhouse. Almost. Ooh. Maybe just change one thing. Alright, okay, alright, okay, alright. You don't know how Mark can say that sounds right when it sounds so wrong. No, the sentence made sense. Uh, also, I completely forgot about this already. Okay, what do we... We need to change one thing. <laughs> this one? The pot and no. soil found in the garden is different from the pot and soil found in the garden. That's not right either. Okay, I think for sure this one. The pot and soil in Penny's room matches the pot and soil found in Fitz's greenhouse. Nailed it. Fucking nailed it, dude. Let me guess. Penny's flower was originally a gift from you, Fitz. There's no way it's a coincidence. Uh... No way what's a coincidence. The flower. It looks exactly like Penny. <gasps> it took me a long time to breed. Oh, I it does look like Penny. to be exactly right. That's some gift. Turns out Penny isn't particularly interested in looking after plants. So I go into her room every now and again. Water and water and water, 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 flower, water and water. Change the soil. Just trying to keep it alive. Interesting. Okay. Let's go back now to you and say you are awful. You are just the fucking worst. I don't know what I would tell her. I'm sure I've read about this creature somewhere. Don't remember anything about him playing the harp, though. Hmm. <laughs> Goodness me. Poppy really doesn't take care of her belongings, does she? It wasn't in Poppy's room. It was in the little pond in the garden. Exactly! Hardly the place for it. Oh, what if I, hold on. What if I, let me try something. What if I go, is there anywhere I'm supposed to go first? I don't see any icons or anything. Okay. <clears throat> what if I put the tape in the, the gramophone and then put like the wooden box up to it? Humming symbol. Oh, 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 I think I understand what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, so then what if I go to the, the piano room? Uh, which is you. Oh, wait, no, I'm dumb. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Literally in that same room I just came from. You hear birds? I heard someone walking. The uh, symbols matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, I just uh, figured. I think something out. It'd be funny if they put something when you play it backwards. It said something. I'm just gonna let this play for a second. See if it, the the little tool hits it. There we go. It's piano music. Why is wasn't there a piano key? Oh, I wonder if I have to do it one at a time. Because I remember... Okay, we have the humming. I remember there was a bell. I thought there was um, a piano key. I'm still not sure. Should we take another look? Ah, okay. So here's the piano. Here's the birds. Is that supposed to match that? 
Let's come back later. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. So maybe I was right. Maybe I did have to go to the piano room. Stand here for a second. Hello. Hey, what up, 13? <laughs> maybe I have to hit the piano? It's one of those big pianos with the open lids. Don't touch it. Why not? Might be haunted. Maybe I gotta talk to her? What else can you hear? Piano? I mean, that tape, but it didn't do anything. Unless if I had to click it? Was it that tape, Pimp? I might be going back here for nothing. Talk to her? Alright, my bad. We're gonna intercept in chat. We're doing cardio. What am I talking to her about, though? Like, oh, something in here? Feathers flashing in the light from a sun. Right, she just gives... Light is shining. She gives, uh, just... Whatchamacallit. Eavesdrop what the stars Some are saying. Okay. Floating, helpless Take from... a moment. Okay, um... Uh, I mean, piano music right yeah, here. it's mine. Can you play the tune for us? What's so special about it? Play the tune for Can us. Can you play the tune for us? Hell yeah, dude. Sure. It's literally eight notes. <laughs> yeah, but this is going to give me memorized. the... Did that not, uh... Did that not activate the thing? Yeah, it's mine. What's so special about it? I got it from my teacher. It's the first piece I ever learned. How long have you been playing? Since the day I turned six. Family tradition. I was really excited to start learning. As soon as I got out of my first lesson, I told Freya and Fifi all about it. When I arrived at my second lesson the next day, Freya was there too. She hadn't asked permission, just showed up. For two whole years, the teacher taught us both. Why is Freya any good? To... She would have been even better than me. If she'd stuck with it. But one day, she just stopped coming to lessons. Why? That's just it. There was no reason. That's when I realized things were different for her. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we need to find a bell. Where can we find a bell? Well, birds is obviously this one. She's playing the wrong side of the piano to make those notes. Yeah, that would have been the ding dong, ding dong. They're bird cages, but the birds are. Is that a metaphor? Oh, it totally is. Hmm. Mm. A bit vain to carve wooden figurines of oneself, isn't it? That's rather sad. Obviously, the birds are here. Whoa, I don't. A secret I don't know. Diary. Are you telling me it's, it's not the That's right room? That's our too. Excellent. It's supposed to be somewhere else, cause I yeah I asked about everything. Obviously not these two things, but. And especially. And it's home to three especially fancy birds. Okay. What about? Where else did I see birds? Maybe out here? It's another little stand. He's playing a loop. Well, they're not and they're not headphones. They're earmuffs. We're looking for I'm covering it, but there's a bird and a bell. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I do I do remember seeing uh, birds down here. Right here. Nailed it. You proud of me, Pimp? Of 
Okay, a bell. Where do I remember seeing a bell? There's a bell in here. Oh, I know where the bell is. It's like right here. There it is. Oh, there it is. Nailed it. What a heartbeat? Yes, she was. Because you clicked it and noted it seemed important. Clearly, Merc didn't note it. Yep. No comment about the headphones this time. Nope. No comment. Could the bell be the front entrance? 100%. That's exactly where it is. All right. So now we need to put it all together. That's all four melodies, I think. So what do we do with them? You're surprised that I remember the birds? Should we go back to Dude, the guns I'm, I'm crap, man. I'm that good with the sauce. Let's try this again. Okay. You know, I think we might be able to solve this. The column segments can be rotated. The ink a shape should uh, can be used to match clues. So I'm assuming it's just supposed to match that to that, that to that, that. I mean, that's circles. That's clearly squares. Whatever, that's fine. Nope. Okay, let me just double check here. That's definitely that one. Nothing. Oh, chat, why don't you tell me I'm missing this one? Whoops. That's got it. Nailed it. Nothing. Maybe it's broken. Wait. Do you hear that? Subscribe to twitch.tv slash Subscribe to Merp. Oh shit. Maybe because you can't fucking see it? Yeah, it's your fault, not mine. What animal? I didn't mean to click that. Right, a hawk bear lizard. Where do you think it goes? In your Damn. ass. Tower presents the underneath. Alright, okay, alright, okay, alright, alright, okay, alright. Why do you have a bolt thing on you? Big ones. Looks like they're made of metal. But why does that one have a gold thing? It looks like they're Next chapter? Boiled. I think this might be the final chapter, honestly. But the liquid is ice cold. Like your heart chat. Is it locked? Seems likely, doesn't it? Oh, we got a We're puzzle. Safe. I'm pretty sure the latches can slide into the middle. Diagonally slide the latches until they're in the correct position. Ah, uh, we're supposed to make... Supposed to make it connect, I believe. Ah, okay. Okay. We got a puzzle here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that one definitely matches. We know that, so we can use that as a starting reference. Then maybe... Yeah, that has to be right. Also, this like touches. This is a gap. I'm wondering if it needs to touch. That just closes it off. Oh, wait, what if we do. Now it goes bloop, 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 bloop. What do we got here? Like that doesn't that doesn't really line up. But that could be because I just didn't pull it all the way. That's looking good. 
again then hmm. Hmm. oh I feel like that oh. I feel like that's close Wait a minute, going down. Boom, got it. I got it. It'll take forever. Go ahead and get that 1,500 subs there, Lazy, because I got it. I know, so is chat. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nice. Hell yeah, man. Well, I had you to thank there, Wing. You were my Anything special little inside? butterfly. Yeah, more research. <laughs> What is that? The folder contains research, notes, and diagrams. All right, one. Our unique flora and fauna is the byproduct of number of as yet un unidentified chemicals. Here's emotional support. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> These chemicals are continually present in the water, forming clouds and filling the lake. This causes a variety of mutations. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it. Plants and animals, smaller creatures such as uh, arachnids, insects, mo mollusks, amphibians, and crustaceans are the most affected. However, the chemicals may travel up the food chain and cause mutations in birds and reptiles. As far as we know, mammals remain completely unaffected. Interesting. Weird. Also, what was that? Oh, there's a whole. Okay. Well, let's click this thing. What's in there? Nine beetles, all different, all dead. Poor little guys. Now, there's a bunch of notes written all around them. It's mostly numbers. No idea what they mean. This looks cool. Nine beetles. Now, there's it's mostly numbers. Nine beetles. Now, there's it's mostly numbers. It's a little diagram of a beetle with some incomprehensible notes scribbled next to it. Okay. That's weird. What? It looks really normal. Compared what about to the that looks normal? Glass. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Whose research is this? Freyos. A cracked glass tank with nine little rooms. Each one has one or two insects inside. I can't tell if there's. I like that you called them rooms. Yeah. Forensic Entomology, Volume Three. Wait, wasn't wasn't the the Point Dexter's wife into this? That's an incredibly specific area. Of or maybe it was just Point Dexter. Is that a lab coat? Warning: hand wash only. Size small. It's a hatch. But we're already in the basement. Depends on your perspective. Let's not go down just yet. We still haven't explored this room properly. Rows of plants, growing in wide wooden boxes. What color is the soil? It looks black, but it's too dark to tell. She has a special and click on the mark. Yeah, I am. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna click on this This place first. would never pass a fire safety inspection. This is some Yo, serious in-depth research. That's impressive, but it's incomplete. There's a section missing yeah, right here. All right, let's obviously put the one that's gonna go in there, duh. So, this is Pointer's secret lab. Okay. Definitely seems like he's the one using it. Yeah. I guess not a lot of people know about the secret entrance. Right, but if Pointer's the only one who comes down here, why would he need to lock his research in a safe? Who is he hiding it from? He's just paranoid, especially about his golden beetle. What do you think he's trying to do, exactly? Let's figure 
now, shall we? <laughs> Alright, blank was hiding from, has been planning to kill, locked up, wasn't aware of, has been trying to breed. Chat, you're breedable. Uh, Pointer was trying to breed the golden beetle in the underground laboratory in Flora's Tower in the greenhouse in the gra uh, in the laboratory. Pointer has been trying to breed. Are you kidding me? First try? Lazy, you know you're proud of me. Why? Because For it's money. Rare. Because gold. it's gold? Yeah. Is that it? I think so. I don't think he cares about entomology any more than he cares about astronomy. He just wants to get one over on Felix. If he can breed his own gold, suddenly Poppy's inheritance luck. is looking pretty More like streamer uh, skill. Infinite. Might explain why he was so worried about losing the beetle. Maybe somebody did steal it. Might have been Freya after all. We know she was trying to get through the secret door in the garden. She might not have known what was down here, though. Maybe she was just curious. Curious, sure. But not naive. I reckon she knew what was going on. I think we're still missing the bigger picture. There's no way this is all just about a beetle. Nah, it's still something going we're on done. with Flora. Ready to go down? Let's go. Again? Flora, like, something died. And I think they're trying to bring it back to life. We're too late. This photograph has been stabbed. Look at this photograph. Is this like voodoo? Why? Not sure. Some kind of metal stabbing thingy. Looks like, oh, it's uh, that that's uh, that's attached to the thing. Uh, sleek but sturdy metal rod has been stabbed in a photograph. The rod occurred point in time like an arrow or a hand of a, a clock. Its small loop on uh, a certain length of rope connect, a red rope connect to it. The metal is perfectly clean and polished. All right, let's click so everything. So it's the wait. photo. No, wait, shut up. It's in frame, but it's uh, slightly damp. The photograph shows a young girl, a large man sitting next to her. Around them are several red and white birds. A metal object was stabbed into the photo, leaving a hole near the man's chest. Okay, so Freya and her dad. Do you know who it is in the photo? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the dad, but hold on. It's an old coat rack. Looks thoroughly neglected. Two cloaks and a green hat draped on top for good measure. Old cardboard boxes. Freya? Isn't Freya the daughter? How exciting. Oh, but there's more. They're also damp and empty. This room looks old. Like, old, old. It makes the rest of the house seem relatively modern. A single book on a little makeshift. This is creeping me out slightly. Why? I think it's a children's book. Uh, Mistids of Sea and Sky, a children's picture book. It looks very old. The Ink Dip, an elegant bird with red and white plumage. The Silver Snake. There you are. An aquatic reptile with no eyes and a long tongue. The Soul Bear, a crab with three differently sized claws. That's its penis. The Amphobi, a frog like creature uh, walking on two legs. Okay. Do these puddles worry you? Nah, we're fine. Why? That's lake water. Why does her remind you of? Because that's her dad. But it's indoors. Dad. That was that was Felix in the ah, in the painting or the point. photo. No, it isn't that her dad. There's a roll of paper up there. I'll see if I can reach it. Let me guess. Blank. <clears throat> oh shit. Misted Mansion North Side Cross Section. What's Misted Mansion? Is that that side of the left? I thought it was called Tangle Tower. The Rooftop Garden. Well, that name makes a little more sense in this context. Misted Mansion. North side, cross section. Is it not Tangle Tower? That's what I just said. Tangle Tower. Before the towers? Storage. It's Freya's yeah, so room. Yeah, that's Freya's room. The library. A bedroom. That's Fifi's room, isn't it? Yes. A bedroom. Penny's room, I think. Study. Wait. That's not a study. I know what you're thinking. And no, we never went in there. How did we miss it? It's the aviary. Music room. 
the Grand Hall. What's that thing in the middle? I think it's that big glass tube. Oh yeah, I forgot about that thing, the aquarium. It's the room above us. The one we were just in. The laboratory? Yeah. Does it look like it goes deeper uh, <clears throat> in the underground? Uh, no, nah, it looks like there's a thing right there. That's the room we're in now. It must be. It's not labeled as anything on these plans, though. I think it already existed when this was made. That's the room. It's not I think it already existed. So, the whole house is built on top of some kind of platform. Apparently. So. Apparently. So. The Apparently. Whole... It's the aviary. I right, just make sure I clicked everything. So. Apparently. Okay, everything was clicked on. This seems pretty significant. Okay. Agreed. Uh, you guys can read that. All that shit. All right. This man in the photo, he reminds me of something. <laughs> yeah, it's Felix. From one of our clues. That's not right. Felix made a little model of him for Flora. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, is that Flora's is. dad? And Flora has a daughter. Lord Fellow. Lord Fellow. Really? Wait, no. Hang on. Felix made a little model of him for Flora. Yeah, makes sense when you know who he is. What's Flora's is Remington? It's not Pointer, is it? I think it's Remington. Lord Remington. Remington. That makes him ah, Flora's father. Ah, it was Flora's dad. Okay. Mean the girl in the photo is. Yeah, it's her. None other See than the bird long too. neck. I never would have guessed. Times sure do change. I don't know. I don't think she looks so different. Why is there nobody? What should I call it? Let's not wander off right now. Let's not wander off right now. Let's not wander off right now. I'm missing something? Basements don't normally have windows. You're in the final part of the game, so you won't see anyone. Ah, okay. We're at the bottom of the lake. We must be. Right. But if that's the lake bed, what? why does it look like that? <laughs> Wait, like we're under the water? Like what? White, smooth, no plants. Know anything? That's not what a lake looks like. Where are we? Did you notice how much light this room has? For a room with one. It's all cap? coming through the window. I'm pretty sure lakes are supposed to be darker at the bottom, yeah. not lighter. Why is there a room down here anyway? And why is it so much older than the rest of Tangle Tower? We still don't really know why people came to live here in the first place. Maybe they just wanted to get rich, like Pointer with his beetles. I feel like the Remingtons came here for the lake, for what was in it. It's empty, though. More empty than a normal lake would be. It is now, yeah. Maybe we're too late. Let's head back up to the Grand Hall. <laughs> to the Grand Hall we go! I want to find that last room. Yo, me too, man. Wow, it's dark all of a sudden. How long were we down there? About two years. This must be it. This thing goes all the way up. How are we supposed to get up there? Hold your breath. Hang on. It's pitch black, but I think there's a switch. Oh, yeah, we're pulling it. How convenient. Let's look it's for some... The room was marked in the building plans we found. What the fuck? I didn't click that. A ladder. Want to go up? Hell yeah, dude. Tangle Tower presents... The Hidden Heart. My, 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 what a lovely room of death. 
You know, in any normal room, this thing would be my main concern. In here, though, it barely makes the top three. Really? Is that a crab? It's got a translucent exoskeleton. You can actually see its insides. That's cool. Also, crabs normally have two claws, right? Not... Gah. Grimoire, don't you think it looks familiar? Yeah. The limbs of the creature can rotate and the claws can open or close. How do I, um... How do I how do I pull up the book so I know what it looks like? I guess that's I don't think we need to. What do you mean? We have all the information we need in our case file. Yeah. This crab really rem that little wooden. Yeah, but I think I've seen it more recently. It's kind of weird that I have to go like this. Okay. Up, out. You know a game I've seen tons of people play it, but you've never seen anyone finish? Cult of the Lamb. Um, that's because you beat it and then you just continually play it. Out, open. There's gotta be a way to remember this, right? Alright, little claws closed. That's a fun game though, Penguin. You never played it. It's a it's a like a town manager meets a um roguelike. It's so got like a Also, it's a, it's a fun game. I like it. Okay, closed. That? I guess that's wrong. I don't think we need to guess. What do you mean? We have all the information we need in our case file. Yeah, but how do I see the case this file? This really reminds me of that something. little wooden toy we found. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to help us. I think I've seen it more recently. That looked right, by the way. Some kind of fish and a bird skull. Can move the joints. Yes, that's a bird skull. We're talking about a fish. Well, how about we stop talking about it? Go back. It's got a also crap. Oh, I can. Oh. I guess that's. I wrong. don't think we need. We have all the information we need in our case. Nothing. I'm sure I've seen this thing. Some. I feel like that was right. Maybe like that. Nope. Wasn't this crab in the children's book? It was more of an L of an I, huh? You're saying like this? Nope. Wasn't this the crab? I gotta look at it again. This crab really. That little yeah, but I think I've seen it more recently. So it's like. Kind of angled, and then also angled, and then cut back, and this is the same, this is directly out. Right. Angled, angled, same, same, straight out. Angled, angled, okay. Is that a crap? It's also crap. So angled. And that's not the way I wanted to spin that. Angled. That, that's it. That has to be it. Perfect. Nailed it. Nailed it. The little one has to uh, go up a bit. Gotcha. You had it at the wrong angle. You had it fully stretched out. Pfft. Something it. somebody didn't want us to find. Oh, looks like there could be a spool that goes here. Maybe an arrow. Okay, can't combine them. What is it? Come back to. We'll click her in a second. Some I'm just kind of everything. fish and a. Oh, how about we stop talking about it? It's a wooden pin board hung up on one of the chains. Grab Looks something like there's sharp. a couple of things missing from it. Oh shit! What is this? Hey, that's uh, the talk shaw or whatever. A large central sheet of paper has been pinned to four lines. Wait, but it's been pinned to it. Four lines have been drawn from a gap in the center. They spelled center wrong, by the way. That's not centra. A smaller sheep underneath features a drawing resembling a silhouette of a cloaked figure. That's definitely Hawkeye or whatever their, their name is. Dragon? Snake? Worm? That's the one. Hooks. Big hooks. An axe and some kind of hunting rifle mounted on the wall. Honestly, doesn't look like they've been moved in a few years. I'm more worried about the third one. 
the third one? Oh, I didn't even see that. The one that isn't there. Coffee table, half empty wine bottle, lamp left on. I'm gonna say someone's been using this room. Someone complacent enough to leave their notebook lying around. Wow, that's a lot to read. That looks like uh, the telescope, so I'm gonna say Point Dexter. All right, fifth ambassador located finally. Can't say I harbored any optimi harbored any optimism, but still somehow disappointed. No better than the rest of them. Took my misted friend into the music room for experiments. It works perhaps too well. The laboratory was another disappointment. All that effort for what? He's even more short-sighted than I could have guessed. Went to the room. Nice view. It's been mostly cleaned out, but I have what I need. She's uh, she got in. She was careful. Nothing was moved, but I know it's. Crumpled up paper. Is there anything written on any of it? Not really. It's mostly blank. An incinerator built into the wall. It's still pretty hot. Is there anything left inside? You're pretty hot, chat. It's mostly ashes, but yeah, there's something. Oh, shit. Nothing much more than a pile of dust and ash. Among the uh, ashes are several black buttons, red colored scraps, and a fabric is still visible. Is that a feather? That is a feather. So they burnt. Oh, fucking. someone's been using this room. They burnt a what you call it? The bird. Let's do the weapon first. Was someone trying to hide it from us? Oh, hey, I don't know. That is me. But it looks incomplete to me. I want to know what happened to the rest of it. Where do they have the parts? Fuck! What did she ask? They were destroyed. I'm not sure about that. I didn't Me hear what she either. asked. I want to know what happened to the rest of it. Where are the other parts? Ah. Uh, hidden in the store. We found them already. We found them already. Yeah, this is going to be easy, chat. Watch this. Watch this. All right. Uh, something that attaches the front of the crossbow. That's going to be the... Uh, Math and acting. Well, I thought it was going to be the... Oh, here it is. The metal rod, baby. What attaches uh, to the top of the crossbow? Uh, yeah, that's not. Nope, that's not what I meant. I I meant to hit the uh, the little light thing so you can aim. Duh. And on the bottom, yo, easy. That's a real thingy, chat. Yo, first try. Are you proud of me? Are you fucking proud of me, chat? What do you make of it? I did it. Not sure. Let's keep an open mind. You don't think the crossbow is the murder Boo! weapon? Okay, oh no, just the crossbow is definitely the murder weapon. But that doesn't yeah. mean we've solved the mystery. Yeah, who pulled the trigger? I don't get it. This room is in the original building plans for the mansion. But nowadays, it's some big secret? It's not a secret to everybody. At least one other person still knows about this room. The way the notebook was left out on the table makes me think it's someone who has the room all to themselves. Whoever it was, they left more than just the notebook. There's a whole design project on this pin board. Feels like someone put quite a bit of effort into it. It's a shame there are things missing from it. Now I'm betting it'd make more sense if we could see it all together. That might not be impossible, you know. I know what it is, Chad. It's the damn uh, picture. It's not a volcano. It's her cape. That's her hair. Ah, uh, shit, what is this? A yellowish-green lined paper ripped from the board. Uh... This one? That doesn't seem right. Need something that could attack. Hmm, I actually don't know what this one would be. I mean, that one maybe. Oh, nailed it. Okay. <laughs> Painting from Freya's room. I think her room. name's Hawk. And those Hawk Hawk sketches. Shire? Did Freya design Detective Hawkshaw's clothes? What kind of sense does that make? I don't think that's why Freya made that painting, but it may have been why somebody took a photo of it to use as reference. And as for those sketches of Hawkshaw, Hawkshaw I don't think Freya me. actually drew them. It was somebody else, someone with less of a talent for Her art. Dad doesn't exactly narrow it down. I mean, extremely near is it down. What Should we go ask Detective Hawkshaw about all this? I'm not sure. I still don't know what's really going on.
Okay, I think we clicked on everything in here. Who are all the people in this photo? Not sure, but it looks like someone didn't like them very much. Their eyes have all been crossed out. Oh, damn. Who are these people? It says the ambassadors of Misted Mansion on the bottom. Right over here. Alright, a photograph is a sturdy wooden, in a sturdy wording frame. It's dusty and looks several years old. A brass plaque at the base of the frame reads the ambassador of Misted Mansion. Oh. Okay, well, there's that. The photo has shown two women and three men wearing a variety of different styles of clothing. All five have had their faces crudely covered with black ink. Okay. Oh, shit. That photo is important. I'm sure of it. I'm glad I clicked that. There's a two-minute timer on that, or a cooldown on that. Are those the fathers and mothers of all the people in the mansion? I think so. I could be wrong, though. I haven't gotten there yet. Another photograph. Their faces oh, yes, are all crossed out with some kind of black ink. So this, okay, well, never mind. That's weird. Oh, you think so? Uh, no, I mean, something I just realized. Sally, did we meet any of these people here at Tango Tower? Kinda. Well, the woman on the left looks a little like Poppy. By Poppy. But her style is way different. And at first, I thought the guy on the top right was Felix. Felix, yeah. But now that I look at it, I don't think it is him. I don't know who those other three people are. Tower presents the murder. Time to solve this. All right, chat. It is time. You can't judge two minutes in your current mind state. All right. Try now. Break out the notebook. Time to put it all together. Let's start with this. It's an arrow for the crossbow, and it matches Freya's wound. It's oh, the murder. Oh, fucking rip. I'm sure of it. Despite the fact it doesn't have any blood on Dang it, in two minutes, and it uh, wasn't gamble. found anywhere near the crime scene, Four mm -hmm. thousand. it was cleaned, then it was hidden. I don't think anybody expected us to get down to that room at the bottom of the five hundred twenty. Okay, so Freya was shot Four. by a crossbow. Where was it fired from? Up top. Duh. It was fired above Freya, in front of Freya. The front. It was fired from above Freya. Above, huh? How did yeah. they hook it? Our diagram doesn't show everything. Let's add in the rest of the crime scene. The attic. Perfect hiding place. We even found a part Dude, of the Dude, I have no idea there. who the murderer is. The I'll be honest. The was though. used to pull the arrow back up through the crack in the floorboards. Explains why we never found a weapon at the crime scene, I guess. The murderer must have dropped the reel in the attic. I'm guessing they were in a hurry to escape. Wait. Maybe Hawkshaw? The arrow was fired through the crack in the floorboards? Yeah. It's directly above where Freya was found lying on her back. Nope. Does not up. It would have missed her if she was still standing up by the painting. Ah. Right. Unless. Freya was already lying on her back. The arrow was fired diagonally. Uh, Freya was hit by... was never hit by the arrow. She lying Freya on her back. was already lying on her back before the arrow was fired. It can't so be behind too. the painting because she would have seen it and there was no hole in the painting and this door is closed So it couldn't have been any other way. She fell unconscious. She was relaxing. She had already been killed Fallen unconscious? She'd fallen unconscious Something in the room hey, caused Hey, let's go penguin! Hell yeah, dude Grandma phone to paint fumes flora. Ooh Well, I don't think the paint fumes because she paints Could it be the gramophone or is it Flora? Well, 50-50. The gramophone. Right. But the gramophone by itself can't do that. The gramophone emits poison gas. It was the music being played. There was something in the gramophone. Ooh, let's go with in the gramophone. There is something in the gramophone. Mm-hmm. Something small. What would be small? That's not it. Was it the egg? That's not it. Okay. Could it be something small? Was it the golden beetle? The potted fruit? The small one? That's not it. Golden beetle? Pointer's research says oh, it can emit an incredibly loud hiss when it feels threatened. 
Poppy and Fitz both said they heard a loud noise around the time oh, of the, the murder. Drill, right. Neither of them had any idea what it was. This seems and a little was on the ground. Is it really loud enough to knock someone out? Well, if it's no. amplified by the gramophone. I don't think so. Not by itself. But don't forget, it was being amplified by the shape of the gramophone. Now, I don't think we're purely mm -hmm. talking about volume either. It might just be a particular type of frequency. Do you no longer think this it's a dad? This is kind of scientific. Still. Since when do you know anything about I the effects of weaponized the audio frequency? I don't, but I think someone else does. Do you remember that statue we found in the music room? The horn it's playing. It's a pretty similar shape to the one on the gramophone. That broken glass isn't there on accident. This is someone's science I was experiment. say, they were testing it. Thinking about it, Pointer said he saw Flora was knocked out too. I guess they were both in range of the noise, although Pointer might have been lying. Personally, I think he was telling the truth about that. It's pretty clear a powerful frequency did pass through Flora's tower. Caused quite a bit of damage, too. What was affected by a pow the powerful frequency? The gramophone. Those cracks didn't appear out of nowhere. Freya's paints, the pink cassette tape, and the gramophone itself. They all sustained similar damage while they were in that room. That's some seriously powerful vibration. Read, read it, read enough to crack metal. Enough to knock someone out all the way across a room. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't get. If the frequency was so powerful and had such a big range, how did the murderer pull it off? Wouldn't they have been in range too? Think about it. They can't have been much further away from the gramophone than yeah, Flora that's... was. The headphones! They protected themselves. How? These yeah, are some cooking. pretty he's heavy cooking. duty earmuffs. I think they'd be enough to block out the sound. Right. Let's go over everything from the start. One, Freya is painting Flora's portrait. They're listening to music on the gramophone. Two, the murderer is hiding in the attic, wearing earmuffs. Three, the golden beetle starts to emit its hissing noise. Hold on. How did it know? The beetle? Yeah, what triggered it at that particular moment? Pointer's point. research said it makes the noise when it feels threatened. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe something in the music? Maybe. <clears throat> Four. Freya and Flora are both knocked unconscious by the vibrations. Freya lands on her back. She drops the brush and palette by her side. Five. The murderer fires the crossbow directly downwards. Six. The arrow is pulled back up on the reel. Seven. The murderer leaves the attic. Presumably. Eight. The door is kicked down. Fitz and Poppy enter the room. That's it. There's something bothering me. What? I just want to check something. Let's go back to the crime scene. dark. Uh... The answer is in the painting. I'm sure of it. Freya added the blood. Wait, wait. Freya was unable to finish the painting, and she died sometime during the process. Flores appears to be wielding a knife. The red substance on the tip was discovered to be blood. Freya added the blood to the painting herself. Her red paint was swapped out with blood. Flora is not holding a knife. She's holding a red, white, red and white ink dip bird feather. Okay. The plant. It's in the book. What? Look. Oh shit, yeah, it's right there. Fifi says the book belongs to Flora, who hasn't been in the library for a long time. Penny says the book is outdated, as the bird has been extinct for a number of years. Um, okay. The answer is in the painting. So I'm sure of it. It's the plant?
Originally belonged to Poppy's mother, but Freya often used it uh, while she was painting. Fifi says the gramophone must have been cracked sometime in the last two days. Okay. Um. I can see the stars. Why were you dehydrated? Why are you dehydrated? <coughs> Why are you dehydrated? Because I didn't drink water. I'm sorry. I'm going to drink right now. Damn. <clears throat> By the way, this is, when you first click it, this is the info it gives you. This is like secondary information you find out. So I'm just going to read these. Fifi says that the red substance is blood, not paint. So that's this guy right here. The red uh, paint pot originally belonged to Felix. He swapped it with Freya's paint pot. Wait, wait, wait. So if the original one was Felix's and then he swapped it, that means Felix had the blood one? Is that what it was? <sighs> or Felix now has the red paint and he took the blood. I'm, oh, I'm confused. And Stark. And Stark. I can see the stars. Hmm, okay. All right, break out the notebook. Time to put it all together. Let's start with this. It's an arrow for the crossbow, and it matches Freya's wound. It's the murder weapon. I'm sure of it. Despite the fact it doesn't have any blood on it, and plant? it wasn't found anywhere near it. the crime scene. Mm-hmm. It was cleaned, then it was hidden. His, yeah, I don't so think anybody so expected us to get she down had at the bottom of the lake. Blood thing from the game. Okay, so Freya was shot by a crossbow. Where was it fired from? I still think it was shot from above, but. <clears throat> hmm. Let's try this one. It was fired from behind Freya. Wait, I'm confused. Me too. Okay, so Freya was shot by oh, a crossbow. Okay, so we had it right. Where was it fired from? It was fired from above Freya. Above, huh? Yeah. Our diagram doesn't show everything. Let's add in the rest of the crime scene. Look at the painting. There's the a sketch attic. of a plant on the right Perfect side. Place. Of we even found the a part of the murder weapon up there. The answer is in the painting. I'm sure. Oh of shit! It. This right here. I can see the stars. I can see the stars. The plant. It's in the book. What? Look. I think I need to do something here. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. Got that. Freya, did you leave us a clue? Oh, shit. I never clicked this. The red substance on the palette and brush was discovered to be blood, not paint. I'm trying to think if this is like, I can kind of see like a girl with her hair here and this is like her back. But that's, that's really it. I don't know, maybe, maybe I do have to do, oh, oh, wait, shit. Oh, shit, we did it. All right. So what's bothering you? Something Sorry, that's not you. here. I clean up all day. So the thing we didn't find. Ignores, we know she was holding it during the painting. Florence the form for pink feather? It was here, in this room. Where'd it go? Shit, what did she say? Fuck, what did she say? Something, where did it go? I'm gonna make a guess here, I don't know. We found it somewhere else. What happened to the ink dip, ink dip feather? Uh, the brush and palette, maybe? It's like this right here. That's not it. Okay, never mind. I'm done. What happened to the ink dip feather? No, it's not that. Oh, there it is. That's it right there. Duh. We were a little too late. Yeah, to I definitely forgot it. about the of uh, the so evidence. So it was stolen from the crime scene. 
and ended up in the incinerator down in the study. Someone wanted to destroy it, I guess. But how? How was it stolen from up here in Flora's tower? Presumably, Flora dropped it when she fell unconscious. Yeah, and then what? The murderer couldn't have stolen it if they were up in the attic. So the question is, how could they steal something from a room they weren't able to access? Hmm. The final clue about the crime scene. Freya left it for us right here. It's inside Flora's egg, it's in the gramophone, it's in the unfinished painting. It's in the unfinished painting. It's not quite a photo, but still, it's an image of the crime scene recorded just before the murder. Ah, if only she'd finished it, and then I could be totally sure. It's true she never finished it, but she did intend to finish it. Meaning? We know more about the painting than what Freya actually got down on the canvas. How did Freya show us her intentions for the painting? That's not it. Okay. That's not it. Okay. That's not it. Okay. That's not uh, it. Okay. Freya prepared Nailed all it. the colors she was going to need it. before she started painting. I knew that was what it was going to be, chat. Yeah, I just want to make sure you guys were awake. All right, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> we have blood on the brush, the paintbrush handle, brown and gray paint, the blood, brown and gray, the black paint, the yellow paint. The other side we have the ink dip feather, Flora's head, the sketch, the potted plant. So let's go with the sketch. I thought this was green, but apparently this is black. So she used black on this part, red, the blood on that, uh, brown and gray. So it has to be yellow. I feel like it's the only option. No yellow? Yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, the yellow paint dripped onto the canvas from was it mistaken by Freya because it was going to be used to paint. The sketch, I'll just go through all my options real quick, isn't actually paint because it was added by the murderer, so. Okay, it was going to be used to paint this sketch. Uh, dropped by the ink dip bird on something sitting in the window, that sounds right, is the murder weapon which Freya had lost, which was part of Flora's dress. Drop by the yeah, oh, there, boom. Yellow paint yeah, that. was so going to be good, used dude. to paint I'm the just... sketch of something Cooking sitting hard. in the window. Something in the window. To the window, to the wall. Uh, something yellow in the window of Flora's tower. I mean, I feel like it's. It looks like a plant, but it also, if it's yellow, it's birds, right? Oh shit, it's a bird, not a plant. There she is, our little thief. Oh. How long has it been there? Did it hear the whole conversation? She did. Oh shit, is it you the murderer? But she's a very good listener. Shut up, I'm gonna click her again. Well now, I think this has quite served its purpose, don't you? Oh, your your pointer's wife, Penny, aren't you? Why did you? It's Penelope, if you don't mind. Wait, is this but Oh, this is before we begin, bitch. isn't there a like certain Penny Penny. formality demanding our attention? Wait a minute. So she was in two places. I'm confused. Okay. Uh, let's leave her untied for now. I'm afraid I have to insist. It's to the benefit of us all, I assure you. Something sturdy to tie her hands. I said to leave it untied, though. Lovely. Now, tell me, what was it that drove you this far? 
I'm ever so curious. I want to help Freya's friend, Justice Freya. I just need to know the truth. I kind of just want to know the truth. I just need to know the truth. Is that right? Interesting. Why did you do it, Penny? What did Freya do to you? I'll be honest. Absolutely I would not have called. Uh, so I would never never thought of You just hated Freya. her indiscriminately. Freya Fellow was an inspiration to Although, us all. I will say, she did draw the the little love triangle, right? So she's engaged or whatever to Fitz, but there's that drawing where Fitz is uh, talking to uh, emo bitch. What's her name? Um, Poppy. So maybe there was like she hated her for that. I don't know. Maybe there was like a secret that she knew she, he wasn't in love with her. I don't know. She but. was possessed of a great energy. Twins? The volition no, I don't think to so. create something from nothing. The willpower to walk <laughs> beyond her boundaries. She was truly free. Everything I couldn't be. You know what? I just realized I actually have no idea who Penelope Pointer really is. Weird, isn't it? Considering we've met her, what is it, three times now? Exactly. How do we know this one isn't a disguise too? You think you've Buckshaw already hollowed us out, never at the same place at the same time. Only a few that. short hours at Tangled Tower, and you feel like you've got everyone sussed, so unearthed, every single one of our secrets, nothing but bullet points for your notebook. Go on, indulge me. What? does it say in your notes about Penelope Pointer? She gifted out five subs, dude. She's a murderer, she's lonely, she's a mystery. Um, she's a mystery. <laughs> I suppose I can't argue with that, can I? Penny, we only know what you choose to tell us, so why not help us out? Very well. Penelope Pointer is actually not very important at all. She pales in comparison to yes, those like, who split came personality before disorder? her and to those that came after. Living at Tangle Tower, it is very difficult to attain the levels of self-realization you probably take for granted. Um, you sure this is a Tangle Tower thing and not a you thing? Perhaps you didn't notice. Not one of them is happy. Not one. So why stay? Why not just leave? I thought she did leave. Penny, you said you traveled, didn't you? I did. Many times I've walked away. It did not help me. You saw the family tree hanging in the Grand Hall, did you not? Yep. Yeah, it lists a bunch of people who don't live here anymore. A bunch of people who don't live here anymore. I couldn't have put it better myself. My mother, for one. My father, too. The other two Remingtons. Poppy's mother, Primrose. And her brother, Richard. And Fitz's father. That's five. Five people that might have lived here, but don't. So the five in the photo? And that was the first question I wanted answered. You wanted to know where they'd all gone? More than that. I wanted to know if I belonged with them. I have no place here. Not among the Fellows, the Remingtons, or the Pointers. But I felt there must be a reason why everyone else left. Some common purpose they all shared. Perhaps it could be my purpose, too. So, what did you actually do about it? Nothing I could do, at first. Nobody would tell me anything. The more questions I asked, the fewer answers I got. Then, I found it. I was 19. Same age Freya is now. Was. Found what? The attic, Davery, the study. The study. The study. The one hidden in the middle of the house. It's right next to a bedroom. I'd hear voices at night. Deep ones. And the strangest thing, the wall behind my bed would get incredibly hot. For hours on end, the paint would peel. Wallpaper wouldn't stay up. I thought I was cursed. I thought it was Literary something or whatever. trying to break through. Eventually, I couldn't take it anymore. I found my way in the same way you did. Once you know it's there, it's simple. So, you got into the study and found the incinerator. That must have been a relief, right? It was 
still warm when I found it. Then, I looked inside. Let's see how thorough you've been. Tell me, do you know what a misted is? Misted? Uh, nope. Misteds? Sure, yeah. Hmm, you're more observant than I thought. Sorry, what are we talking about? It's a collective term, from before my time. Birds, insects, amphibians, anything living off the lake water. The mutation can take several generations, or it can happen overnight. Wait, mistids, like cryptids, uh, like Bigfoot or whatever. A little egregious, isn't it? I suspect that was an intentional parallel. The main difference being mistids are perfectly real. They're just kept secret. Or at least, that was the original plan. As it happened, some got out. Quite a few got out. How do you know all this? When I entered the study at 19, I found a single object that rather changed my life. Something which answered my questions while at once creating all new ones. That's not it. That's not right. Damn it, okay. Something Penny found in the study that answered her questions. So, the five missing okay. family members standing <laughs> together as a single unit, calling themselves the ambassadors of Misted Mansion. So the house was renamed from Misted Mansion to Tango Tower? And rightly so. The age of Misted Mansion is long past. When I looked, Inside the incinerator on my first visit to the study, I found nothing but ash. The afterimage of a bygone era denied to me in its entirety. The study, the room at the bottom of the lake, the lake itself, all empty shell. I felt my only hope lay with the ambassadors. If I could find them, maybe, maybe they'd share the family history that Flora and the others were trying so hard to forget. How did you track them down? It was tough. They'd taken almost everything. Books, maps, charts. The creatures themselves, all lost. Taken away or destroyed. But I got lucky. I got a lead. I found one, and he led me to the rest. And? What happened? Why'd you paint out all their faces? They didn't Killed help them. you either, did they? Nineteen-year-old me had imagined they'd all left with a mission. A unified purpose. But they hadn't. They were, in fact, every bit as fractured as the people that still live here. Most of them had left tracking escaped mystics. Some claimed to be researchers, others little more than hunters. All five. Completely useless to me. Even your own parents? Eventually, I returned to Tangle Tower. I had nowhere else to go. I considered giving up. But instead, I made a decision. There was only one person at Tangle Tower still of interest to me. My dear Uncle Pointer had suddenly made a show of taking up astronomy. A fairly superficial charade. I don't think many people were fooled by it. But I knew it wasn't just a falsehood. It was a mask. Pointer had found something. Something from the era of Mr. Mansion. What was it Professor Pointer found from the era of Mr. Mansion? That's not right. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. All right, it has to be something here then. What did he find at Misted Mansion? What a beetle? So where did he oh, get shit. the beetle? Okay. I cannot be sure, but I theorized that he received it in the post. In the post? From who? Why did it sound who like... can say? Someone outside Tangle okay. Tower. But the thought that he would be in contact with such a person all that time. What do you want? I don't know. I don't know either. 
It's not it. It's Stuart Burks live. What up, Seaborn? How you doing, man? Express? Nah, I just had that uh, last week. Not recent. Mark wants spicy chocolate for dinner. Mark's gonna give spicy chocolate once he has the spicy chocolate. Hold on one second, chat. That one. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, because C1, you're, you don't live in the U.S., just a reminder, be on the lookout on Discord. I'll be doing a worldwide merch giveaway. So if you're not in the U.S., hopefully you rig it and win it. If you're in the U.S., I hope you win it. But be on the lookout, chat. I'll probably be making it later tonight. I decided to take what was owed to me. So you stole it. Stealing the beetle turned out to be only the first step. Upon realizing it was gone, Pointer made little effort to disguise his frustration. Okay. I asked what was bothering him. He foresaw no risk in sharing a little of the truth with his niece. He told me he'd lost a rare treasure, something he'd been keeping safe. I suggested, innocently, that perhaps it was not lost. Perhaps it had been stolen. He was very ready to believe he'd been the victim of theft. When I offered to call in a private detective... He jumped on the idea. She arrived the next day. Hawkshaw prides herself on her punctuality, as you know. Why, though? Why go through all that? The name, the costume, and everything? It's somewhat sad to admit, but I had little use left for Penny Pointer as she was. Hawkshaw afforded me new advantages. Opportunities. But didn't you have to pretend to be working for Professor Pointer? Ah, well, that was one of the advantages. Pointer was in such a desperate state, he was finally willing to share some of his secrets. On the second day, Hawkshaw explained she needed to be able to search the secret laboratory. Pointer gave in, and gave me the code for the harp statue. Reluctantly, but still. So... you stole Pointer's research? I would have done, if I'd found anything worth stealing. But he had made remarkably little progress barely scratching the surface of the beetle's true mystery. Which is? Ha! <laughs> she carries an exoskeleton approximately 90% identical to gold. But it's not the 90% I'm interested in. Did you ever question what exactly makes the water here so unique? Before Misted Mansion was built over the lake, before the lake was even a lake. Lord Remington and his wife built a small structure here. A research station, supposedly. Fast forward two or three generations, and as you saw for yourself, it's been mostly cleared out. The ambassadors took everything when they left. And everything they didn't take was burned in the incinerator. However, possessing additional insight, I found something the others had missed. It's not much, but I have what I need. So, why isn't this the end of the story? Why did you stay? Why did you kill Freya?
the will of Freya Fellow. Simply put, why did it make me Freya click? Okay. was too good for me. Oh. It's my fault. I pushed her over the edge, unknowingly, but still, I take the blame. What are you talking about? Did you know I based the design for Hawkshaw on something Freya painted? That's right. I had assumed it was purely abstract. I just thought it had a good energy. I later discovered it was a figure of some kind, something from Freya's recurring nightmare. For all her vitality, I think Freya was probably the most troubled of all of us. She was desperate to leave Tangle Tower, but she couldn't just walk away. For quite some time, she'd been trying to break into Pointer's laboratory. Freya and her friends were halfway through deciphering those symbols on the harp statue, I believe. Why did she care about getting into Pointer's lab? That's exactly what I wondered. At first, I thought perhaps she just wanted to free the Beatles. She has a fondness for them. What Pointer was doing upset her significantly. Why don't sharks eat clowns? Fact, because they taste funny. I think it was something else. I think she wanted to free Fiona. Thanks for the Vidi Penguin. The real reason Freya was unable to leave so Tangle Tower so don't that that she laugh. could not get Fiona to agree <laughs> to come with her. We're now firmly in the realm of speculation. But of course, I think speculation. Freya felt that exposing the darker secrets of Tangle Tower, not just to the rest of the family, but to the world, would compromise all three families. And perhaps, somehow, free Fiona from the shackles of her inheritance. That was her plan anyway. But something happened before Freya could find her way into Pointer's laboratory. She found her way into your study. Found your notes. Found that photograph. I'm willing to bet she put it all together quicker than we did. So she worked out what had happened to the five ambassadors. Specifically, what you'd done to them when they refused to help you. Did she outright Freya say that she killed them? a promise to paint Flora as a birthday gift. A parting gift, no less. She'd be in a locked room. Several hours away from her friends. It was my best chance. But why hide in the attic? And why bother with the beetle at all? The beetle in the gramophone wasn't for Freya. It was for Flora. She didn't deserve to be involved. She suffered enough. I couldn't get Flora out of the room. But if she could be unconscious, then she wouldn't have to witness anything. Why the knife? The illusion of the painted knife with the blood. That was for Fiona. And Poppy too, I suppose. Gave them something to focus on. You mean it distracted them while you made your escape? It helped them cope. The very idea of something abstract. Something supernatural. I believe it made things marginally less painful for them, initially. Worked on you too. So why are you still here? Why not take your first chance and leave? Ah, well, I've been waiting for an opportunity to get my beetle back. I'd really rather not leave without it. Wait, it's still here? It's still inside the gramophone. Oh shit. What's going on? Not a bit, yo. Take it easy, pimp. Poppy, they are both awake. I can see. You two, all right? My head hurts. What happened to us? You were both unconscious. Fourteen minutes by my count. Really? 
Oh, oh you were fun. saying to us. No injuries. Oh, gotcha. Was it the beetle? In the gramophone? I, you were you were I heard it through the ceiling in my room. The exact same sound we heard before the murder. I guess it must have been. So how did we get down here? What happened to Penny? Fitz saved both of you, obviously. When I reached Flora's tower, you were both unconscious, and Penny was crouched down beside you. She had her crossbow on her, but who knows? She may have just been checking you were both asleep. Did you know she, uh, that she was the murderer? Poppy and Fifi suspected her. Apparently, they were pretty close to solving it themselves. Fitz did not want to believe us, because he liked Penny a lot. But what happened? Fitz, what did she do when she saw you? She jumped out the window. What? Did she survive? She did. I heard something land in the garden outside my room. But by the time I got out there to check, she was already gone. Hang on. Poppy, why do you have Penny's hat bird? She left him behind. I found him sitting on the floor in the aviary, all by himself. Poor little thing. The mean lady didn't care about you at all, did she? No, she didn't. I apologize. <laughs> Poppy seems to be under the illusion that the bird can understand human language. Oh, that was just a hat, so, an actual bird. Penny got away. I'm afraid she did. We had suspected she might try to escape. I was stationed here by the lake's edge. I proved to be an ineffective guard. She took the boat. Did she take the beetle with her? Nope. How do you know? Because it's right here. It was still in the gramophone. I guess I scared her off before she had a chance to take it. Poppy, what are you going to do with it? Eat it. Are you going to give it back to your father? No, I'm not. It doesn't belong to anyone. So, I'm going to put it on the ground and never bother it again. I think that's what she would have wanted. Yo! <laughs> that was a cool game, man. That was, I, I, I would not have uh, suspected um, uh, Penny. I, I think I'd probably honestly be like one of the last person I respected. That was a really cool game. I liked it. I liked it a lot. The end. Good job. Hell yeah, Chad. If you enjoyed that, do me a favor. Drop that hype and that love. Maybe some Merc Poggies. Uh, for Pimp. Pimp gifted me this game. It was a lot of fun. Not an ad. Not sponsored. I don't know if it still is, but at the time uh, when Pimp gifted me this game, it's only four bucks. So, if you liked it uh, and you want to play it for yourself, uh, there you go. Hopefully it didn't spoil the ending, even though if you're listening right now, we know what the ending is, but, you know. <laughs> Yo, SFB Games. That was cool. Was there anything after the credits?